Boys and girls, welcome back to the K-Way Math Show. Uh, before, we, before we cut for the break, we did all your formula on your normal shapes, your square, rectangle, circle. That's your cube, your prism, and your cylinder. We're now going to go on to the last one here, which I promise you, we know that this is a triangle. And to calculate the area of a triangle, area is equal to half base times perpendicular height. We all know that. The perimeter of a triangle is just side plus side plus side. Remember, perimeter is your distance around a shape. And then if you have a triangular prism, something that looks like your Toblerone box, right? You all eat Toblerone. I shouldn't be mentioning that on TV now, especially now in Ramadan, right? Here we go. We're now going to get your volume of this is going to be half base. Uh, you're going to take your area, half base times perpendicular height. That's in your one triangle. So say take a triangle like that. So if this being your base, it's going to be, let's call this triangle P, Q, R, and let's call that H, small h. So volume of this would be half your base, Q, R, times your perpendicular height. They might give you a perpendicular height here in the triangle, P, Q, R, S, times P, S. So half your base times your height times your big height, times h. And that would be the volume of your triangular prism. Okay, so boys and girls, I hope you know all of this. We're now going to go, that was your area, parameter, volume. We're now going to go on to total surface area. Now, total surface area means what is, it means exactly what it says. What is the total surface area? How much of paint is required? So if I took a if I took this duster, how much of paint is required in order to paint this eraser or this duster? That is called total surface area. What's the outside area? How much of material is required in order to manufacture this? That's called your total surface area. So now, we're now going to go on to total surface area. And I know you've got various formula for all your different shapes. Well, welcome to K-Way. We're going to give you one formula that you could use for all your shapes. Okay. So total surface area for closed top and bottom, meaning that the top and bottom is closed. Let's look at this, this, this glass. Let's look at this tumbler. Right. We have here um, total surface area is equal to for a closed top and bottom. Closed top and bottom. Meaning, meaning that if this cylinder, if this cylinder was closed on the top and closed at the bottom, we would use the formula total surface area is equal to two times area of base plus perimeter of the base times your height. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in brackets here. This is two times area of base plus the perimeter of the base times your height. Okay, now obviously, if this is a cylinder, if this is round, your area of base, because it's closed, we say two, two times. This glass here is open on the top. So common sense, when we say two times area of base, how many bases does it have? Only one. So we'll say one times area of base plus perimeter of the base times the height. If the top and bottom was open, so take a uh, toilet roll holder, open on both ends. It's got no base, so common sense. Can we say two times area of the base? No, it would, you would just say perimeter of the base times your height. Now you just adjust this, this formula for all your different shapes. If this was a cylinder, area of base would be pi r squared. Perimeter of base would be 2 pi r. If this was a cube, 2 times area of base would be 2 times length times breadth plus perimeter of the base in a cube, 4 times side times your height. If this was a rectangular prism, 2 times length times breadth plus in brackets you would say 2 times side plus 2 times side times your big height. Okay, so you can adjust this formula for all your different shapes. So total surface area, 2 times area of base plus perimeter of the base times your height for closed top and bottom. If the top is open, you only got one base, one times area of the base, or just area of the base plus perimeter of the base times your height. If top and bottom is open, you would just say perimeter of your base times your height. You won't use the area of the base. Why? Because there's no base. Okay, let's now go into application. So, one of the examples that 
we give you in optimization and we're going to do about three or four examples if you need more examples you need more training boys and girls please purchase our set our set is very 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 detailed send us emails send us your questions we want to know from you the viewer what are the questions that you need we will then send you a response if you feel like you would like to come onto the show remember the floor is open the show is not my show the show is your show we want you the viewer to put your input to ensure that we pick up mathematics. Remember, this is, we are now part of a mathematics revolution. This is so explosive. It's, we want it to be so huge. We want every individual in this country to be part of the show. Okay, so we want your emails, we want your contacts, we want you guys to phone in, and we want you guys to be part of the studio. So the next time that we have the show, inshallah after Ramadan, we want to see 10 people here, all from different parts. We want Cape Town, Durban, Joburg, Polokwani, every area here, and we want everyone contributing to the show. Mm -hmm.